think one of the most difficult aspects of this film was just the sheer workload, you know. We were shooting four action sequences, sometimes at the same time. Some of the sequences took six weeks to shoot, others would take a week to shoot, but you'd be shooting them one shot at a time and bouncing from first unit to second unit. Uh, it just was one of those kind of jobs that never seemed to end. You know, I was hanging off of boxes. It got to the point where I was like, how much footage do you need of me hanging off of these boxes? But, you know, the studio, the studio were adamant that they wanted more and more, and I'm glad that I did as I was told because it makes a big difference in the movie. We were so lucky to be working with Naughty Dog and PlayStation in the development of Uncharted. They were there every step of the way from the creation of the script through to shooting and also in post. And having the perspective and guidance of Neil Druckmann and the rest of the Naughty Dog team as well as Assad, who's the head of PlayStation, who they were by our sides every step of the way, making sure that we respected the game, but also made it our own. And then they were also really instrumental in helping design Easter eggs, which we filled the movie with, uh, so fans could go on a treasure hunt of their own, trying to search for all the Easter eggs that we laid throughout the film. I love the treasure hunting action adventure genre. It just, as a kid watching those kinds of movies, it just inspired me and filled me with so much uh, one, excitement, but two, just appreciation for history, which is a big part of our movie. We're tracing the path of Magellan and how he circumnavigated the globe. And so there's an opportunity for audiences to both learn a little bit about history, but also fall in love with the own uh, original elements that we created for the sake of our story. I love uh, the final finishing stages of a film when you're on the mix stage and you're putting the icing on the cake so it is. Um, and so I've worked with the same sound designer, Kami Asgar, for five movies, and he's just the best in the business in terms of creating this incredible soundscape. And the sound effects they create and find are just those special layers and details that make it feel so special and make it feel so real. And especially if you watch the movie in Atmos, if you go to a Dolby Atmos theater and you can hear it in all directions, it makes it such an immersive experience. And that's the kind of thing that you can only get in a movie theater. So I really hope fans will go see this movie in a theater because it deserves to be seen on a big screen because not only does it look amazing, but to your point, it also sounds incredible.